What's good everybody, my name is Arthur or Avartation and I am the author of roughcut at ascripts.com Today we're going to talk about it, we're going to discuss how and what you can get out of it and let's go! Okay, so to install roughcut we need two things, the extension itself and the ZXP installer. I'll use one by ascripts. You can use roughcut for free for 10 days, just click try and it will download the zip file. After download your OS version of the ZXP installer. After you download both files, first install the ZXP installer. After that, extract the zip file to get the extension ZXP file and user guide. Now open the ZXP installer. Drag and drop the ZXP file into it. You will start to install the extension and if you did all right it will finish successfully. But if you have problems installing it please let me know by opening a support ticket with your ASCRIPTS account. Now that we have Ravcut installed let's try it out. Restart Premiere if you haven't so that you can see the newly installed extension. To open Ravcut go to Window Extensions Ravcut for Premiere Pro. When you open it for the first time, a pop-up window will appear that will ask your permission on opening the background application that Roughcut is using. Click open and it will start loading the application. It may take some time. After it opens, you can see that it has three tabs. Analyze is where you give new videos to it to process. Insert is where you insert the processed videos to the sequence you want. And the settings tab, where you can change the cache folder, where all the cache files will be saved, and the colors used for each type of footage. Okay, so to start using it, select the videos you want to process from your project panel and click analyze. Now it will read all the videos frame by frame, will analyze them and generate the cache files so that you can open them up next time without analyzing. It will take you to the insert tab when finished. Here you can change the parameters for each video separately or for all the videos if you change the master settings. When you're done select the videos that you want to insert, select an existing or new sequence and click insert. It will insert the regions with types and parameters that you selected. So say you can keep only the stable parts by only selecting the stable checkbox. Here's an example of its final output. As you can see the shaky parts are not always shaky and this is because Ravcut is looking for a drastic change of movement, not for an actual shake. This is down to build a universal solution for both active and passive videos. But what are scenes? If you insert the same video with the scenes option selected, you'll see that it colors some of the green regions or part of them yellow. Scenes are the next step of filtering your footage and they are detected only on stable regions. Scenes are detected by tracking the objects in your video and are basically the regions that contain the same object over time. Scenes are useful for two reasons. They separate the smooth transition parts not detected by the shake detector and they make sure that the region is more or less about the same concept. So you can watch the beginning of the scene and be sure that the same objects are present in the rest. I hope you liked this video and it gave you a better understanding of the tool and its possibilities. If you have any ideas, questions, drop them below in the comments, I'll have a look. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see how I'll develop it further and what else I'll come up with in the near future. See ya!